All right. Um, just to recap, do we all say that there is a jump in the function? So this is what we call a jump discontinuity. So since there is a jump, um, we could only have limits and not the value of a function. So what is the value of the function at 2? Two? 2. two. Um, what is the value? Why can't it not be 3? Why can it not be 3? Because it's an open dot. It is an open dot, which means it cannot include that value 3. So what is the value of the function, say, at 3? Three. What is the value of the function at say four? Three. What is the value of the function at one? When x is two, y is two. So when x is one, y is one. This is a line that goes through the origin, so it has to be one. Um, so if we have to find the limit, since there is a break here, we look at limits at a break point only, typically. At all other places, we simply have the value of the function. So there will be a limit right here. So I want to first find the left and right limits, which are one-sided limits. So how do we find the left limit? As I get closer and closer to 2 on the x-axis, where does the value of y uh, go? So so when it's 0, it's 0. Oh, it's supposed to be a different color. When it's 1, it is 1. When this is 1.5, what do we expect to get? 1.5. When it is 1.9, what do we expect to get? 1.9. If we have 1.9999999, what do we expect to get? I said it, you can too. I had a few more nines. <laughs> Let's do this again. 1.99999. 1 1.99999. 1 .9999. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so if, if it is that value, it is going to be the same. So when x is 2, y is also 2. Do we agree? Yes. So when I approach the value of x from the left-hand side, the limit x approaches 2, from the left hand side of whatever function this may be, I'll call it f of x. The value of the function is 2. Correct. So as I get closer and closer to 2, on the x axis, the value of the function is approaching um, 2. Now I've got to come to 2 from the right-hand side. As I mentioned, limits do happen and only happen at a lim uh, breakpoint. So when I start at 4, what is the value of uh, y? Three. 3. When it is 3? 3. three. When it is 2.5? 3. three. Uh, what do you think it would be when it is 2.01? Three. Three. What do you think w w it would be when it is 2.0001? Huh? Three. Three. But what would the value be if it is exactly two? Two. Two, right? So as you get closer and closer to two, from the right hand side, the limit is 3, but not the value of the function. 
Limit and the value of the function are two different things. Um, sometimes the limit of the function and the value of the function would be one and the same. And that would happen if a function is continuous. In other words, there are no breaks. As I mentioned, the concept of limits come into play when you have a break. Good? Okay. Um, so what type of function is this? There is a name for this. It is a piecewise defined function because we define the function in pieces. Okay. watch the video which one was blurry the one that is live or the one that that's live. the live one that's what I thought it's Kalkura um, the limit of a function would exist at a point in other words limit x approaches to f of x would be a numerical value under only one condition I wrote this last time. If the left limit and the right limit are one and the same, then the limit of the function would exist. Are they the same? No. So the limit does not exist. Good. People like to call it D and E. Not D and E. D and E. Are we clear? Okay. We'll do one more problem on this type and then we can move on to um, finding limits for different functions. Can I erase this? I'm going to ask you to try this. Uh, usually I let people talk, mostly, I mean talk with each other, but social distancing and all, we can't do it. Before we start, oh, well, I need two more numbers. I'll call that uh, three and five. That's zero. Where do you think the limits would occur? What points should we worry about? X values. Three and five. Three and five. Care to enlighten us? What's your name? Matt. Matt. Why did you say three and five? Okay, <laughs> if it's going to make you happy, I'll just throw a bunch more. Four, six, seven. Okay, so it's where the jump is? Thank you. It's where the jump is. It's not because those are the only x values. The jump occurs at three and five.
So we don't have to bother about other values of x, and all we care about x is e would be x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5. So go ahead and find the limits of the function at x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5, and if they don't exist, you can simply say they do not exist. I'll give you about two minutes. I'd like everyone to participate, so you can give me the wrong answer. There is, you can right answer, wrong answer. There is no answer, that's stupid. There is only one person who knows calculus better than everyone in this class. That would be me, so no worries. Um, okay, his birthday is on the 11th of some month. Okay, how about October? Um, two. Two. Care to enlighten us? Um, so, so first of all, we're going to go up in blue uh, in the line right now. Okay, so as I get closer and closer to on the x-axis, the value of x, excuse me, y, would approach 2, right? So that would be 2. Okay, whose birthday is in December? Oh, two people. So we will start with you first. You can tell me the limit x approaches 3 plus f of x. 3. And why is that? So as I get closer and closer to 3 on the x-axis, um, the value of y, it is getting closer and closer to 3. But will it take on the value of 3? No. I hope 
It's still recording. Okay, it's still recording. Okay, very good. So the limit doesn't exist because the right limit and the left limit are not the same. If they are the same, then a limit would exist. Good? Okay. Uh, who ate, I know this could be a lot of people, who ate Chick-fil-A for lunch yesterday? Okay, back to you then. Limit X approaches five from the left hand side. It would be three. So as you get closer and closer to five, the value of y is three. So the limit of um, the function as you as x approaches five from the left hand side would be three. Um, who ate a boar's head yesterday? No one. Okay. Who ate a burger yesterday? What do you guys eat? <laughs> um, who had pasta in the past two weeks? Okay. So it's it's uh, two, right? You can't ask me. I'm asking Cause, you. Yeah, because it comes when the line curves in from the right side. It comes that open point. So uh, two, but as I right get right closer right. and closer, so the value of y at 7 is right over there, at 6 it's right over there. So as you get closer and closer to 5, this curve is approaching the value 2. Good. Could it take on the value 2? No. Only the limit is 2. Good. Um, I think I've changed it now. Who ate on campus yesterday before lunch? Okay. Who drives a truck? Wow, such boring people. <laughs> um, okay. Who likes horror movies? Back to you again. What's your name? Colton. Colton likes I've got a lot of sleep. Uh, why, why not? Uh, the, the left limit and the right limit are not the same, so the limit is not going to exist. Are we clear? on how to find limits. So there are a few other problems that we can do in terms of limits. I'm going to complain again to IT because the projector's not working, the mic's not working. I'm gonna erase this. Now why did I bring up the projector? Oftentimes, do we have a TR-80 whole calculator? So when you graph things, you can identify the discontinuity as to where the discontinuity is at. Um, if I had that projector, I would show it to you, but it's not turning on. I want you to give me an answer. Now, if you can't get it right away, you can always um, draw a graph and look at the graph and come to an answer. So here, if I have to write it as a function, the function here would be 24. So I'll call it f of x f of x, y, they're all one and the same, so y is equal to f of x, and that would be equal to 24. Okay? Now that uh, we have that, now that the information is clear, 
uh, y is equal to 24, f of x is equal to 24, would you be uh, able to give me the limit? Who ate Chinese in the past two months? Oh, two people. Go ahead. He can give me the answer. You can give me the explanation. Or we can switch. I would say yes. Yes? Yes to what? The answer is the limit. But what is the limit? No, it's 24. OK. Why is it 24? Very good. So it is a horizontal line. So if I draw from negative infinity to infinity, no matter what value of x I plug in, y would always be 24. Do we agree? So the limit here is 24. Now what is the takeaway point? The remark here is Sorry, I didn't mean to write that. Uh, I'll call it L. Would be L. So limit x approaches C for some constant L would be L. Great. For the same problem, Who has Costco memberships? Okay. It's 24, right? Okay. Because, well, sorry, I keep asking. Yeah, it's, you keep asking. Sorry, it's 24 because the constant is 24. It's, if it's the same problem, then they have to be equal, right, for that limit to exist on the left side of the board. So the, so it has to be 24. Okay. Uh, did you say Moses? Did you say, well? Do you have cost Yeah. Okay. What, you want me to explain it? No, the answer. Oh, 24. It's still 24. Why is it 24? Um, because uh, it's, uh, from, it's the Y, uh, they call it Y intercept. Okay. So it's just a straight line across horizontally. And yeah. it's just going to be the same. Um, great. Uh, I would, did you see that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Maybe it just takes time. What I do next time, I'll come, when I come in at 7.30, I would just go ahead and turn this on and then walk to my office. This way it fires up and it's on. Um, what's happening? Can someone do reverse thinking in the sense using, well, we first found this, then we concluded this. But 
Could we have justified this in a different way? In other words, could we have come to the same conclusion but with different reason? Who likes baseball? Okay, Colton. Can we? You don't know, okay. Anyone else? Very good. What's your name? Henry. Henry. So Henry says, well, if a limit exists, then the right and left limit has to be the same, right? So if I concluded that the limit at X, at, as x approaches 5 is 24, naturally, the right limit and left limit must be the same. Do you agree? Why not? Great. You you have to the limit on the right side and the left side are both coming to the same number when it's the when it's defined. Oh, when it's defined. Okay, I see. Well, what if when it's not defined? Well, then I guess yeah. Then we won't have an answer. No. No. Okay. Is it defined at five? No. no. So what is the limit on either side? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So what is the limit at five? Is it twenty-four? Is it? I don't think so. Why not? So, okay, uh, what's your name? I totally forgot. Logan. Lo oh, I didn't ask. So, Logan, um, he said this is an open circle, so it can't be 24. So, can someone correct Logan or give an explanation? Moses, you've got to be louder because you've got this fancy mask. Yeah. Uh, it says so, COVID flu. So, when both limits match each other, um, then it does exist? Even if that circle is open in the first place, if you have both limits uh, existing at a certain point, then you're, uh, at, the, at the point, it's going to be uh, 24, even though there's nothing true. Okay, so if this is true, that is true. If this is true, that has to be true. Now, where you are confusing yourself, Logan, is between the definition of a function at a point and the limit. So if I'd asked you, what is the value of the function? Who's playing with Siri? If Siri says, don't listen to me, you can break that form. What is the value of the function at x is equal to 24? In other words, f of 24. Logan? Anyone else? So it's like, would it be 24? It won't be 24. It's, it's a flat line, it's 24. OK. Who likes football? Wow, what a bunch of liars. It's a vertical line. Huh? No. Oh, sorry. I meant to say x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5. That's my fault. x is equal to 5. Now, who likes football? 
Okay. Okay, let's try. But you don't know the answer, but. So that means you're about to say something. No, no but no, okay. Uh, anyone else? Positive or negative infinity. Okay. Let's try this in a different way. What is the value of the function at zero? Principle. What is the value of the function at one? Louder. What is the value of the function at two? What is the value of the function at three? What is the value of the function at 4? What is the value of the function at 5? What difference do you see in the dots that I put? There is no value at 5. It is undefined. Right? Remember the concept of open dot and closed dot? Including, not including. So the value 24 is defined for all of those, but um, it is not defined at x is equal to 5. When I started class today, I said, well, where should we look for limits? And I suggested, well, we look for limits where there is a jump, jump or a break. Would you consider that as a break? Yes, so it is a break at a single point. So we have to look at the limit and not the value of the function. Good. The value of the function is undefined. Are we clear? Okay. I'll give you a minute to think about it. Again, if you can't um, visualize it, you can always draw a graph. Let me see. That's working, so we'll try. So if you didn't purchase a TI calculator, and if you just want to borrow for the exam and such, FGCU has this nice little tool called Apps Anywhere. Anywhere. Did we hear of that? No. Um, you can pretty much go to myapps.fgcu.edu and you can access the calculator online. Not only the calculator, there are other software that you can access directly without installing or without purchasing it. Good? So put that link is iapps.fgcu.edu. You will need your um, student ID or login information. Okay. What do you think that curve would look like? Tell 
Can you see? Um, so the function is x. In other words, y is equal to x. So I'm just going to type in x. But before I graph it, what do you think the graph would look like? Go ahead. A vertical line. A vertical line. OK, Max says vertical line. Or horizontal. Horizontal line, OK. It's just the y equals x on x. So it's kind of diagonal from the origin. x is 1, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 3. So it is a line that goes through the origin. So if you graph that, that's what we would get, right? Do you see any breaks? No. So the value of the function would be the limit of the function. But when x approaches 2, and you're plugging in 2, right? Correct? And you don't see any breaks at all. So the value here has to be 2. Now that we've analyzed that um, limit x approaches to x is equal to 2, we could do that reverse thinking and go for limit x approaches 2 plus x. And what would that equal to? What's your name? Right? Ryan. Ryan, right? Yeah, it's 2, right? You didn't catch. Sorry. I just, that's <laughs> you, just you know, you end everything yeah, with right. Yeah. So I said Ryan, it's two. right? It's 2. 2. Uh, what about the left limit? It's also two. It is also two. Good. Um, so that is a good place to stop. I'm going to merge the video with the audio. Um, so it will take a bit of processing. Hopefully it turns out nice today. For Friday, I will post a video. Um, and you can just watch it at home. Um, you should be able to start the homework, but if you see giant expressions, just wait until Monday.